Yo, check this out guys. Um, last month I went on vacation, winter vacation and stuff, and you know, I had a container of mochi. And you know, I come back to it today, I'm like, hey, let's have some mochi. And I was greeted with something kind of crazy. Uh, this is what happens right here. We have this container. This is what happens when uh, you just kind of leave your mochi in your Tupperware for a month. That's crazy. Like, look at this. Like, it, this used to be uh, pink and white mochi, but now, like, check it out. Like, it's covered in a bunch of, like, mold and stuff. Oof. That, uh, that smells disgusting, by the way. Um, we got this right there. Wow. It, it's like it's changed. It, so this was white, but it changed to, like, green and then, like, this, uh, like, mustard yellow right there. Ugh. Like, uh, the, the more we get to the bottom, the, the heavier the stink is. And, like, right now it's uh, wintertime in Japan, so imagine if this were summer. Like, I, if it were summer, like, it'd be a lot more humid, right? Especially in Japan, Japanese summer is humid. And, like, I didn't have these in the fridge. I just had them, like, outside because, you know, it was, like, pretty cold here. But, like, imagine if this were summer, it would be so much danker than it is now. But, like, yeah. Uh, eat your mochi, kids. Uh, don't forget, uh, if you have mochi, uh, one, to put it in the fridge, and two, uh, to just eat it. If there is a moral to the story, I think it's to just, yeah, eat your food. That's, ugh. Like, I can still smell it, even though I'm, like, all the way over here. Ugh, it smells disgusting, so. <laughs> that was a nice, cool surprise. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, eat your mochi, kids. Peace.